360 cameras have a little more to consider when deciding where to mount them than just seeing what's in frame. Because, well, everything is in frame. A few quick things to consider when mounting a 360 camera, like this Insta360 ONE-R, that I often forget after years of working with GoPros that can only shoot in a single direction, are mainly to always have the camera in line with the mount, so there's less chance of the mount showing up in the shot. It really doesn't matter if the camera isn't level, because it doesn't need to be with 360 video. It's not absolutely necessary that a lens should be pointing at the action. Although, try not to get the stitch line where the two videos meet too close to the action because it will look something like this. Even though it isn't nearly as painful as my chopped off hand appears. And lastly, planning out what type of movements could be pulled off later in editing is the most important part. Because after all, that's the best part of shooting in 360. So here are a few mount ideas and movements that can go with those mounts when filming motorcycles. Start recording. A 360 camera directly above your helmet, preferably on a stick of sorts, might not be the most comfortable mount. But for a short ride, it can get a very cool perspective on the world. Keeping the camera in line with the mount will get better results. But any creative method will be entertaining. Especially if having mounts appear in the shot doesn't bother you. A simple 360 pan can give you a good view of your surroundings. A spin while peering down at the bike makes a bike ride look like a fun idea. Or my personal favorite, the rapid zoom out to the tiny planet perspective. It's definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but is a view you've probably never seen your roads from. Moving parts are always fun to watch, and the swing arm gets you a pretty good vantage point of that. A suction cup is never the best idea for 360 cameras, because their cumbersome design means they're pretty much always in the shot. But if it's all you have, then it's 100% worth it. A slow pan or tilt while keeping an eye on the rear sprocket and chain can add some movement to the shot. Or a quick spin from the sprocket to the road passing by and ending up at your foot doing its thing with the gear lever can be a shot packed full of action. Pretty much the entire bike can be visible from the nose and can even look like somebody else is filming you. The usual movement can be added with a gentle panning motion while cruising down the road. A quick swish can be employed while pulling off, going from facing you to seeing what the road ahead offers. Or something completely different like this shot, where it tilts up just as I start to gear up and spin around to come back down once I'm fully kitted up and ready to ride. It's a cool effect to make a boring activity more captivating. I have to admit the tank mount isn't as exciting as I'd like it to be, but it might appeal to you. It has a lot of potential, like flicking from seeing what's going on with the gauges to watching the rider in action, but just feels a bit dull and cramped. It would probably work better on a more upright bike, so give it a bash and get back to me. I've seen some awesome footage from this angle but I suspect it's more suited to track riding with a more animated rider.
Nevertheless, it's very immersive with the rider's arm right up in your face while he's controlling his controls. And with a tilting movement thrown in, it's something a little bit different to add to your video. If it's possible to get a 360 camera right in the center of your bike's tail, you can get the best of both worlds. Face the rider and get the regular shot from behind, or swivel around and get a piece of the tail in two. A 360 degree pan is the best approach and can feel like you're practically a passenger. Tilting up while focused on the rider isn't a bad idea either. And maybe a slow pan around the tail, because if you're lucky like me, you'll even get a glimpse of the exhausts. Mounting the camera to the side of your bike is another great vantage point of a lot going on. You can swish from watching the front wheel rolling along and pointing in whatever direction you're about to be heading, up to the rider twisting the throttle or pulling the front brake lever. Even just another pan while watching the suspension work its magic can give a shot that never gets old a bit of movement. Ultimately, the possibilities are endless and the only limitations are your creativity, editing skills, and patience. Three sixty cameras are one of the best action cameras for bikers to learn to use at the moment, and the skills will probably come in handy in the future. But anyway, if you have any more three sixty mounting ideas, please share them down in the comments for me to try out. Hit the like button if you got any ideas from this video and I'll see you on the next ride.